Kia ora team, my name's Ben and today we're going to talk about what meninges are. The meninges are three layers of specialised membrane that surround the spinal cord and the brain. So if you think of them as being like three layers of glad wrap that our brain and our spinal cord get encased by, function of the meninges provide physical stability and shock absorption to our brain and our spinal cord. So our meninges have blood vessels that branch into the layers to supply oxygen and nutrients. And then the, the glad wrap or the meninges that cover the brain are called cranial meninges and they're continuous so they just keep going and then they turn into our spinal meninges which are the meninges that cover the spinal cord. So our meninges have three layers. If we have a look here, you can see on the outside we've got the hard skull and then we've got the dura mater, the arachnoid, and the pia mater. So the dura mater, that's tough and fibrous, and it's the outer layer. At some locations, the dura mater folds into the cranial cavity, and these are called dural folds, and they act like seat belts to hold the brain in position. So in the spinal cord, the dura mater is not fused to bone, and there's an epidural space between the dura mater and the walls of the vertebral canal. So remember, epi over and above, so epidural space is the space above the dura mater. The epidural space contains loose connective tissue, blood vessels, and adipose tissue. So the epidural space is where epidurals are injected into to provide temporary motor and sensory paralysis, which if you have to have surgery or if you're giving birth, sometimes you'd be very grateful about the epidural space. Have you heard of meningitis? Meninges, and then itis means inflammation. So meningitis is inflammation of our meninges following either bacterial or viral infection. With meningitis, it disrupts the blood supply and the cerebrospinal fluid, and this damages and kills neuron and glial cells. So it can be very serious. Okay, so that is our meninges.